My name is Judy Ashley, and welcome. I am the host for this program about a unique group in our area that is making an immediate and positive impact in our community. The name of the group is 100 Women Who Care of Franklin County, and we are the first chapter in Vermont and part of more than 400 chapters around the world. Our mission is to provide financial assistance to nonprofit organizations that have a strong presence and serve residents of our county. The chapter meets for one hour, four times a year, and any member in good standing can nominate a local charity in advance of each meeting. At the quarterly meeting, the names of the three charities are drawn at random. The person who nominates the selected charity has up to five minutes to talk about the charity, sharing what kind of impact it makes, and the intended use of the donation. This is followed by five minutes for questions and answers. Then the members in attendance vote by anonymous ballot on which cause to support, and the charity with the most votes receives the donation. Each member writes a personal check for $50 to the selected organization. When all the checks are in, they are presented to that organization. This is not an annual commitment, but you are considered a member until you submit your resignation in writing using an easy form on our website. If you are unable to attend the quarterly meetings, you are still responsible for making your donation within two weeks of the group meeting. There is more information on our website, including a list of current members and past recipients of the group's donations, as well as previous Northwest Access segments highlighting each charity. Today we will meet a local nonprofit that was awarded funds to 100 Women Who Care to learn more about them and how they use their funds. So I'd like to welcome um, Karen Berno from Operation Happiness and Marilyn Billings from Operation Happiness. Thanks for having and us. And Marilyn, you are the co-chair I am the of Operation yes. Happiness with? With Sally Sargent Sally and Sargent. Gwen Boudreau. And Gwen Boudreau, great. Yes. And um, Karen, you are the toy coordinator, yes. right? All by yourself? You get well, to coordinate toys? Gwen, Gwen does a huge part of it. Gwen does a huge actually, part. Actually, and Susan Rickson is also takes on a good role. So you got a good, a, piece a of good the, team. Any yes, other people that are involved with Operation Happiness? Oh my goodness, we have people. It's throughout Franklin and Grand Isle County, and so we have heads in each of the different towns that we service. So we have like Kathy Lavoy up in Swanton, and we have. Um, you don't have to name everybody. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> so yes. So, so we, there's a lot of people. So involved. there, there, there are a lot of people that are. Each individual town has has their own heads, and okay. so we are kind of the overall heads. But each each individual town has has their okay. own. So. so what is Operation Happiness? You're just going around trying to make everybody happy? Exactly. <laughs> That's our key Wouldn't goal. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> so Operation Happiness is a community initiative um, each holiday season to um, give needy families a substantial amount of food, a basket of food, and toys for any of the, the kids in the families um, about 16 years and under. Okay. So, so that they have uh, enough food to carry them, you know, when they're not in school and everything, as well as, you know, having, having the gifts for the holidays. And then we also, we do the toys, and the program has really um, blossomed. It used to be just a, a basket of food and, and a toy for each kid. And over the years, we've really grown the program, and uh, we, instead of handing a toy, picking it out ourselves and giving it to the, the families, we, we thought, you know, these kids might be getting a basketball every single year and not mm -hmm. even enjoying sports. So we really personalized the program, which takes a lot more bodies, and we set it up like a store, and we really have involved the families. We bring them in and let them choose a gift for their for their kids. We've also um, expanded it and made it into a hat and mitten distribution for each kid. And we've also, somebody took on the role of starting a um, used coat. Um, yes, and so that's a huge part of the program is Donna Corrigan orchestrates a team of um, her friends and they do an amazing job at giving out, um, and, and it's grown not just for coats, but any kind of household 
need. It's really taken on a life of its own. And uh, Maryland has the statistics on how many families we help. Uh, is it over 1,500 or it's, not it's, quite? It's over 1,000 families yeah. that we, we um, have throughout the Franklin mm -hmm. and Grand Isle counties that we so service. So is there an eligibility? Can anybody get So get most of the time, as far as when people apply, they're applying either through the schools or through like home health and NCSS. Um, they're referred from a number of different organizations, AgeWell and, and uh, other groups like that. But um, sometimes we do get self-referrals because sometimes people, even if you look at them and say, oh my goodness, you know, they're they shouldn't apply, you don't know what's going on in their lives. You don't know, you know, what may have happened to cause them to have that need, just a temporary need, and if we can help them kind of get beyond that, that temporary need so that they are able to fulfill their other obligations, then that is something that we are willing to do. So it sounds like it's grown a lot over the years. <laughs> you, when did it, you know, when it started, Operation Happiness? So Operation Happiness um, started more than 25 years ago. Five years ago. Um, Warren Ham and a number of the, another a number of other um, members in the community were finding that they would go to a household to to give a donation of a basket of food or or toys and and that other organizations were also doing the same. Oh, okay. And so okay. they created Operation Happiness so that we're all connected so that way there isn't as much duplication. That's right. And so it was originally um, Warren him having the connection with the military, mm -hmm. and the uh, it was established at the armory in St. Albans, and so that's why we have the name Operation Happiness. That's fabulous. So. Yeah, I've seen photos of. I actually haven't been there, but I've seen photos where you go like going through all the baskets with the toys and all that yeah. stuff. It's a big, big undertaking. And one of my favorite things about the program is just uniting the community. Right. So not only right. is it special for the recipients, but the hundreds of volunteers that come out. We 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 um, involve uh, team sports, every mm -hmm. hockey, basketball, dance teams, religious right. ed programs. It it just uh, student council. They all come together from different schools, different programs, and once they volunteer once, they they're hooked because it's a feel good program, mm -hmm. and I think they learn a lot about. Uh, you know, compassion, and, and they actually see who they're helping. And, and some of these people are their neighbors or their classmates, and it really gives them a sense of um, sympathy and, and yeah, compassion. Emp empathy, yeah. So I'm going to switch a little bit to 100 Women. You're both members of 100 Women Who Cares, Franklin am, County. Yeah. Um, tell yes. us a little bit more about why. Um, I heard about 100 Women Who Care, I think from either the newspaper um, introduced me to it, and then Karen Rushlow approached me. Mm -hmm. She's one of my tennis friends. And I just um, thought about the idea, you know, without um, really committing. And Karen um, told me a little bit more about the program. And I'm very um, into the community as far as, like, I, I want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I um, like to think that I live in a strong community and to build a strong community, I really believe that you have to be involved. Um, 100 Women Who Care definitely has given me that sense of involvement. Um, no and so that's where Operation Happiness um, received some funding a year ago. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about how the funding was used? Sure, yes. We, uh, we um, presented to uh, 100 Women Who Care our need at that time, we have lots of needs, mm -hmm. and our, our money goes into a pool, yeah. and we pull out of the pool. But the need that we had for the year was um, we lost a big donation of hats and mittens. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to figure out how to get funds to continue this um, portion of our program. So um, we... Marilyn probably knows the exact amount of dollars that we have to raise to... to yeah. It's, it's about 25000 that we raise each year yeah. to cover so, the program. And we're constantly trying to brainstorm how to, um, how to come up with donations and how to raise funds. So 100 Women Who Care 
um, selected us to receive the money, and we not only did the were able to buy hats and mittens, but teenage gifts. Or we always have a shortage of teenage gifts, and so with the extra money, we definitely uh, used to supplement that portion of the program. That's fabulous. Yeah, that's great. Hats and mittens and teenage things. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the toys we get come from the barrels that you see around the community. Right. right. And um, they always, you know, it's easy to buy for kids. It's fun and it's inexpensive. Teenage gifts tend to be a little more pricey. So that's where our shortage is always. Well, that was great. Mm. So um, how can our viewers get involved with Operation Happiness? And So we, we are ramping up right now. So now is a great time right. to, to call. So we are a program of the United Way of Northwest Vermont. Mm -hmm. And so you can contact the United Way at 864-7541. Uh, Mm -hmm. So that's the, the office in Burlington. Um, Say that again. Sure. It's 864-7541. Okay. So, um, and then if people would like to donate, of course, you'll be seeing the red barrels around town, so you can put donations there. Are those mostly in St. Albans City area, they're, or are they everywhere? Um, they're through, they will be throughout Franklin and Grand Isle oh, counties. Franklin. Yeah, right. so you'll see that it says Toys for Kids, and... It should also say that it goes to Operation Happiness. Okay. So, because there's a lot of barrels that get put out around the, the everywhere. Right. Around. Right. Yes. So it'll say so toys for kids. It'll say toys for kids, okay. and it in Franklin and Grand Isle counties. That's that's where okay. it's going. It's going to Operation Happiness, right. and so we do appreciate the Marines' help with that. And then, um, if you're in St. Albans and want to drop something off, you can drop it off at the United Way. Um, which is on 11 Church Street in St. Albans. Okay. Um, they're also, they're connected to, well, St. Saint, Saint Paul's um, United Methodist Church has office space for us there. And so uh, there's somebody there from 9 to 1 each day. So if you want to drop so off there. you can just stop by and drop off. Stop by and drop but off. But you're asking for more than toys, what I'm hearing. Money is good. Money is wonderful, okay. yes. Um, you, you and make, toys. Yeah. And if you want to make a donation, you can make it out to the United Way of Northwest Vermont uh -huh. and just put in the memo Operation Happiness, and then okay. that, that earmarks it for us. Um, but... Money is wonderful. <laughs> uh, toys of all ages, mm -hmm. um, hats and mittens, uh, food donations. We are going to be doing food drives around town, so you will see that. The different schools do food drives. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have information in the newspapers and, and things like that for that. And if you know of somebody who's in need, they can call 211, and they will have each specific town's oh. uh, phone number to be able to sign up for Operation Happiness. That's great. So, And I'd yeah. also like to add that if anybody's on Facebook, they can um, private message us and ask okay. how they can get involved. And as Marilyn said, we're in the works right now, that getting the, the wheels rolling. And so don't wait till Christmas time to ask how, how they can help. Like right now is when Just we so need. Just so our viewers know, we're taping this on October 30th. So. Great. Um, 2019. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, it, even if it's beyond Christmas, you but know, we, but we may, we are, it may pop back up again next year at this time. Sure. So, this Perfect. whole segment, just to Perfect. make sure people know every year this is happening. Right. Yes. And they can get in touch with you. Um, yes. And then you have a lot of people that show up to help put the boxes together. I know that's a huge effort as oh, well. My goodness, and, yes. And what, what I love about Operation Happiness is it is community wide. And so, you have people. I mean, we had two-year-olds helping out, <laughs> right. and great. then we have seniors helping out. So we have the whole gamut. Uh, Northwest Technical um, sends these great guys that, and, and women as well that, that really do a lot of the heavy lifting as far as the food goes. And uh, so we just have so many of the different school groups, so many different uh, organizations that help out. And, yeah. and if your business would like to help out, um, we'd love to do either, you know, a hat and mitten drive with mm -hmm. a business or a food drive with your business, and we'd be happy to pick them up. Or, so or lots drive. and lots of ways to get lots involved. Lots of ways to get involved. Fabulous. So. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Thank you. It Thank was you wonderful for to us. hear more about Operation Happiness. And I'm really, it's exciting to hear how much it's grown over the years. 
and how people have stepped up and added different components to it. So yes. thank you both very much. And, and thank you to the 100 women who care. It, yeah. it really makes a, a big difference. We're very happy that we could su right. support it, the, right. the hat and mittens and the, the, the teenager stuff. That's so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. thank you. So um, I'm looking at my, my thing. If uh, 100 women is perfect for you, um, if you are committed to helping others in our community but stretch for time, you want 100% of your donations to go directly to a charitable organization in Franklin County. We invite you to join us in supporting the wonderful work being done by local nonprofits in our area. And there is more information about meeting dates and a quick membership form on our website. And you are also welcome to attend a meeting before making a commitment. So thank you very much for joining us, and we hope you will watch our next segment where we will highlight another local nonprofit in our area.